Cloud Code is an incredible coding agent until you hit your weekly usage limits in just a few hours. But there's a new model that promises to solve this. GLM 4.6 claims to have the same performance as Sonnet 4 at just $3 a month. In this video, we will explore what GLM 4.6 is, how to set it up to work with Cloud Code, compare its real performance in a live coding test, and I will show you a special way to use this model that unlocks even better results. So to understand GLM 4.6, I want us briefly to understand the difference between an agent and an LLM, because sometimes I see there's a bit of confusion and they're used as a synonym. So you have your LLMs down here by the different providers, but with just the LLM itself, you cannot really do much. The agent is kind of a wrapper or interface around the LLM that makes this LLM actually useful. It provides the tools like searching, reading, writing files to your code base. It collects all this relevant contacts and your prompts and sends it over to the LLM and the LLM output will also be taken into the agent, which then applies it to your code base. The LLM itself, you can think of the engine behind the agent. So it is responsible for all the code generation and reasoning. It takes all this context that the agent passes, generates the code and passes it back. So the agent interface can be either in form of a CLI like Droid, Cloud Code, Codex, or something like an IDE like Cursor. And recently we have seen that these model providers, Anthropic and OpenAI, have developed their own coding agent, their own interfaces that, of course, prefer their own models and tend to work best with them. But something like Cloud Code, for example, also lets you customize the endpoint, meaning the LLM it works with, and you're not actually reliant on using it with Sonnet and Opus. Now, this is where GLM 4.6 comes into play. This is a model developed by ZAI and they provide instructions on how you can connect it with Cloud Code to use this LLM as the reasoning code generation engine behind. And they're claiming that their model GLM 4.6 performs very similar to Cloud Sonnet 4. But of course, we are a little bit tired of these benchmark graphics, but of course, we're going to test the performance out. Now, why is this so interesting and why is there so much hype around GLM 4.6? It is mostly because of their pricing. So their pricing plan starts at $3 per month, which is completely wild compared with Cloud Coach because their first useful plan starts at $100 a month, but you reach the usage limits on this plan extremely fast. So you at some point need to upgrade to $200 a month, which is of course extremely expensive compared to the coding plans of GLM. But let's test this out and I wanna show you how you set up GLM 4.6 and connect it with Cloud Coach. So the first step of course is to create a ZAI account and subscribe with one of their plans. I recommend getting started on the cheapest plan and if you like the model, if you like the performance, you can always upgrade to one of the other plans. Step number two, if you want to use it with Cloud Code, of course, you need to install Cloud Code if you haven't already. This is also super simple just by grabbing the command, pasting it in your terminal and the installation runs through by itself. And you need to open up the global Cloud folder. You find it in your global user folder and it is hidden. So on Mac, it is command shift and period. And then you find the .cloud folder, you can open it up. So inside of your global cloud folder, find the settings.json and paste the following command. I will put all commands required in the description below, but it is very simple. Get at the end of one of these closing brackets over here, type comma, and we add a new environment variables, which are this one over here. And then you can hop back into your project that you wanna work in and launch Cloud Code with this special command. I will also paste this one in the description and you need to replace your ZAI token over here. Now this you can of course find in your ZAI account and API keys. I'm going to create a new API key over here. Let's say YouTube test. Grab your API key and paste it over here. Now, of course, after this video, I'm going to reset this API token. So don't have any funny thoughts, but you can just launch it with this command over here. And then you should already see Cloud Code with GLM 4.6. And we can even verify this by slash status. And you see the model that is powering Cloud Code now is GLM 4.6, but the rest of Cloud Code is exactly 
like you know it, like with all the slash commands, all the features of cloud code, everything works exactly the same. You're just not using up your usage limits for Sonnet 4.5 or Opus 4 inside of your cloud code account. I will also verify this during the building. Over here it says API usage billing, but I opened up my cloud console and I have zero tokens. I never work with the cloud API. I, when I use cloud code, I usually work with my cloud code subscription. So we will see even though we're building, nothing comes up here in the API usage. So let's go ahead and test out the capabilities of this model. Now the app I'm working in, you already know about it if you saw my recent videos, is this task manager app over here. And I want to push the model a bit to its limits by creating a new habits page over here. Now for that, it is required to also call the Superbase MCP, set up a new table, and also in the front end, create a completely new page. So I created this prompt over here, not a perfect prompt. I was just rambling a little bit into Whisperflow. And I wanted to create a new habits page. We want to show each habit as a card, show habit name, emoji, and the past seven days. All seven days should be circles that can be marked as done. Also show their streaks, so how many days in the past they have marked this habit as done without interruption and the total count. And we want to have a button opening a pop-up where they can create this new habit with the habit name and emoji picker. And in the back end, we want to create a habits table and apply migration to the Superbase MCP. I will right away jump into edit mode without any planning. So let's go ahead and run this prompt. Now, while it is running, I want to talk a bit about my experiences with GLM 4.6 so far and who would I say is this useful for and who shouldn't use it. Now, in terms of performance, I would say it's definitely not reaching Sonnet 4.5. I would compare it more with Sonnet 4 or maybe even Sonnet 3.7. So definitely not on pair with the latest Sonnet models. But in my opinion, there's no model out there right now that gives you this kind of performance for that price. So you definitely need to take the price into consideration here as well. So that brings me to the group this is for. If you're working on a budget and are a bit more price sensitive, this is the model to go for, especially since you can pair it with cloud code and have all the amazing features of MCP management, custom slash commands, hooks, basically the whole suite of cloud code at a fraction of the price. But if price doesn't matter as much to you, if you care more about having the absolute best coding models and coding quality and output, I won't say this model is the right one to pick for you. Working with Sonnet 4.5 itself definitely gives you better output. And I wouldn't even say it comes close to the best model on the market right now, which in my opinion is GPT-5 Codex. So I personally didn't end up using GLM 4.6 as my daily driver, but there's a special way of making use of GLM 4.6 that actually gave me results more closer to Sonnet 5 and were really useful for me, but I will show you this method in a second. Let's first check out the results we got over here. So it says it has been finished working on the back end, created habits and habits entries in Superbase, and also working on the front end. So let's check it out. I don't see it in the navigation bar down here, but I see it created slash habits. And we already see an error over here. So I will copy it, bring it back over here and let it fix that error. Error is fixed. Okay, we see the page. Now it doesn't really match our design of the other pages. It more feels like created it on top, but let's check out the functionality. Okay, we see another error over here. I'm gonna let this one fix as well. Second error fixed. Let's check it out. Create your first habit. Wow, I actually like the UI it created over here. So let's say Jim. Great habit. I don't see it over here. Oh, after refresh, I see it. And wow, this UI is not bad. Let's see if I can check it. Okay, it doesn't really let me check me anything over here. Let's see what it created in Superbase. So I see the new tables. Okay, the entry is over there. Habits and habit entries. Okay, I see that it marked those as completed. Let's maybe refresh the page. Okay, that actually works. So it's just a matter of refreshing. But in terms of function, this is really good. We just need to work on the optimistic states over here. Let's create another habit. Read for 30 minutes. Yeah, it's just a matter of refreshing. 
Okay, so all in all, pretty impressive result. I didn't expect that good of an output, but for $3 a month, you cannot complain at all of year. I mean, the styling of the page doesn't really match our other stylings, but that's also something other coding models sometimes struggle with. But we had just had two arrows basically to feed in for a very complex task, and it managed to fix all of them within one shot. And to verify, we didn't use any usage of Cloud Code. I can refresh this one no token usage through the API. So we're fully using GLM 4.6 over here. Now to finish this off, I wanna give you my way of utilizing GLM 4.6. That gives you an even better output than using it with Cloud Code. And that is utilizing GLM 4.6 through Droid. Now, if you don't know about Droid, make sure to subscribe because in the next video, we are going to take a deep dive into Droid, which turns out to be my favorite coding agent at the moment right now. Now they developed an agent, which is also working with all of these LLMs over here, but they developed special tools and a special way to work with them that gives you an even better output than working just with the native agents over here. So they have recently integrated GLM 4.6 in one of their own models, which they call Droid Core, but it's fully utilizing GLM 4.6. And what is interesting over here, and I can also verify this after my own testing, it comes even closer to Sonnet 4.5 and outperforms Sonnet 4 at again, a fraction of the cost. So if you want to test this out yourself, you can grab the installation command of the Droid CLI, paste it into your terminal, I have already installed it, so I'm just gonna launch Droid. Of course, you also need a factory AI account. And then in the list of models, you can pick Droid Core GLM 4.6. Now, what is important to know here, this doesn't work with your ZAI subscription. They have their own API endpoint with GLM 4.6, and you need a subscription with Droid, but the tokens you use is a fraction for the performance of almost Sonnet 4.5, which is again, almost five times as expensive over here. So this ended up to be my way of still utilize this incredible price per performance advantage of GLM 4.6, while still reaching incredible coding output that comes very close to Sonnet 4.5. And whenever I still want to have the maximum coding output, I switch to one of the higher coding models. But now I'm interested, what is your experience with GLM 4.6 so far? If you have tested it, let me know down in the comments. And if you wanna have a comparison between Sonnet 4.5 and GPT-5 Codex, make sure to check out my latest video. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.